Shalom Israel, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. The honor to the apostles and elders of Green Millstone. All right, that rule well. And, and, and Shalom to the elect men doing his work in truth and sincerity. Um, real quick, you know, the spirit, the, the apostles and the elders of Green Millstone. That they had put uh, together a great uh, live stream last week about, you know, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King and him being a part of the Boule, you know, him being a part of the Boule uh, society. You know, here it is. You know, he got our people thinking, you know, we are free. Um, he got our people thinking, you know, he got our people thinking, you know, um, you know, uh, filling their heads with that prosperity doctrine. All right, because that's. Basically, that's what the uh, Boule Society consists of, man. So-called prominent black leaders, all right, giving our people hope. Well, so-called giving our people hope, man. Trusting in this society, man. Keeping our people more sleep, man. All right, but that leads me when I when I when I see things like that. All right, that leads me to what um the most I said, man. The Book of Jeremiah. All right, because our people are wicked, man. And contrary to popular belief, our our Lord is supposed to be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, not the white man. All right. I was watching a video, which I'm gonna put it up, you know, shortly. But basically, I was watching a video, and this guy was saying that he was basically saying that, you know, how these these so-called prominent black leaders they make the so-called white man their God, you know, bowing down to him, you know, serving him, man, doing what he deems is right, man. But our job is supposed to do is supposed to be to do what the Most High thinks. It's right, okay? Righteousness, man, not in wickedness, man. Alright, this is Jeremiah 5 and 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set of snares. They set a trap, they catch men. Alright, and how do they lay wait, man? They lay wait trying to feed you that prosperity doctrine. And it's funny because as I was my first time I reading this precept and understanding it, you know, through the spirit and power, of course it was through the spirit and power, Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. All right, and it was my first time when I learned the, the uh, church topic. All right, going into the wicked passes, man. With some wicked passes, you know, the main ones that keep our people asleep. But who's, you know, basically preaching the same doctrine, man? That prosperity doctrine. All right, these uh, so-called, you know, these wicked leaders, man. All right, Bill Cosby, all these wicked leaders, TD Snakes, man. All these, all these wicked leaders, man. Um, you know, what I'm saying Oprah Winfrey. You know what I'm saying? All these leaders that our people put their trust in, man. Barack Obama, which he's a him, right? All right, but our people uh, look up to him as as if he's some type of savior, man. All right, they lay wait as he has set of snares. All right, how do they set a snare, man? By thinking it's cool to live it up in in uh, slavery, man. That's a snare, man. Because now if you think it's cool to live it up in slavery, you ain't trying to get out of here. You ain't trying to serve the Most High. You ain't trying to pray to Him, man. All right, they set a trap. They catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. All right, their inward parts is full of deceit, man. Their inward parts is full of deceit, man. All right, all right. They constantly looking to see how they can keep your ass asleep. Therefore, they are become great and wax and rich. All right, and that's you know what I'm saying these so-called prominent leaders. What they are amongst. The wealthiest of, they are amongst the wealthiest of um our people, man. Um, while most of our people on the bottom, they up, they up. You know what I'm saying? Living on top, man. All right. They shine, yeah. They overpass the deeds of the wicked. All right. And as I said, you know, before Esau is known as the wicked in the Bible, man. All right. As we always bring out, you know, it's three types of men, man: the sons of God, the sons of men. All right, which is uh, heathens, the sons of God, which is us, the Israelites, and the sons of the wicked, which is the so-called white man, also known as the son of perdition. They overpass the deeds of the wicked. Why? Because they know to do good. All right, but they don't do it, man. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless. Yeah, they prosper in the right of the needy. Do they not judge? All right. They don't judge us, man. They they don't judge righteously, man. All right, maybe you know what I'm saying these people. It's obviously these people keep getting shot down, all right? Maybe I give them some hope, man. The scriptures, man, some real hope, something that you can actually look forward to. 
You turn off people's prosperity is coming. But when, man? When? We tell our people to come back to the Lord, then prosperity will come. You tell our people to stay in America, continue to get shot down, continue to get, uh, you know, uh, dehumanized, discriminate, you know, be discriminated against. Alright? And it's cool. To you. Alright? So I not visit for these things, said the Lord, shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this. Alright? Because contrary to popular belief, Alright, the Most High doesn't like this place, man. The Most High wants to bring righteousness into this place, man. Which is where we come in, man. The men of the Lord. The, uh, real men of the Lord. Great millstone, man. Alright? That's what it means to be with the Lord. To be righteous, man. Alright? To lift our people out of the dunk hills, as the scriptures say, man. Alright? Alright? This is Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42 and 6, I the Lord have called thee in righteousness. So the most I have called us in righteousness, he said, I the Lord, which that word Lord is all caps, meaning Yahweh. Alright, not the so called white man. And will hold thy hand, will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison. Alright, so that's our duty, man. That's our job, man, to wake up our people, so called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans known you know today man in America and all across the world to open up their eyes man to tell them who they are man that they are Israelites that they are kings man that this is not their rest that they need to come back to the most high because if not they will be destroyed right the contrary you know what these black leaders do they tell you to live up in this place you don't need the Lord that's basically what they tell you man you know get that money all right none of these black leaders you got those peons these rappers that's also you know what I'm saying? Keeping our people asleep. Selling drugs, getting money, commit adultery, man. All the ways of wickedness instead of righteousness, man. To bring out the prisoners from the prison and then that sit in darkness out of the prison houses. I am the Lord, that is my name. So the Lord's name is Yahweh, alright? And we gotta proclaim that, man. And my glory will I not give to another, man. So all praise on the glory goes to Yahweh. And his son, Yahweh Shai, man, who people ignorantly know is Jesus Christ, neither my praise to graven images. Alright? Alright? You know, so, Lord willing, uh, brothers edified, I'm gonna play this clip, you know what I'm saying? Just further, you know what I'm saying? Edifying the point of, you know, it's better to be with the Lord, alright, being above, than with Esau being below, alright? Right. Everybody, this is the raw truth. Coming at you with a brand new video, and this definitely is going to be a series because, you know, like I've been promising, but I've been sidetracked doing a whole lot of other um, videos on different topics and stuff. And one thing that I promised was to do a topic on the boule. <clears throat> And I'm doing this topic on a boule because um, I remember I did a video on Bill Cosby. And why I don't feel sorry for Bill Cosby. And I made a statement that I'm going to do a topic on the boule because you have to understand, we need to understand what our people who are in civil rights leaders um, our actors, TV pastors, and even some pastors that's not on TV, but they're part of this society. And you have to know that in order for you to get anywhere in America and do what these pastors are doing and do what Bill Cosby is doing, T.D. Jakes, Steve Harvey, you have to be part of an organization that's and make yourself appear to be doing good, appear to be doing the right thing, but in secret, that's why it's called the Boule, the Black Secret Society. But in secret, you're so fucking wicked, it's unbelievable the shit you have to do. <laughs> you know, a lot of people you know tell me or tell people like me, well, l look at uh, Oprah. 
or look at Cornell West. Look at Tavis Smalley. Look at Steve Harvey. Look at these people. They're doing it big. They, they're doing real good. Look at them. These are the people that we need to look up to. These are the people that we need to say, hey, they're doing it. And look, we can inspire to be just like them. Look, they're doing it. They're doing it in the white man society. Look at them. But if you understand the group that they belong to and understand the doctrine of what they be, uh, of what they do and what they believe in, the, the laws and charters of what they have to do, you will be turned off on these people. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> the good Lord always said, you shall know them by their fruits. And knowing someone by their fruits is you got to know what they're into. So you have to know their doctrine. In order to know their doctrine, you have to study. And that's what I do. I study the things that they do. That's why I'm not a fan of none of the TV pastors. I'm not a fan of none of the um, none of the gospel people. Who, um, the gospel uh, song, who write gospel songs and stuff. I'm not a fan of them. I'm not a fan of the comedians. I'm not a fan of the civil rights leaders. I'm not a fan of Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, Farrakhan. I'm not a fan of them. You know why? Because I know what they are into. So. Like I said, this takes a lot of reading, and I had to read through a whole heck of a lot of this stuff just to uh, get give you a little gist of what the article was talking about. So we're going to hit the boule, and hopefully this will expose some shit. And everybody, anybody living in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, well, got some news for you when it comes to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And it said the Boule Skull and Bone Society. And why do they call it? Because the Boule um, fashions itself uh, uh, after the Skull and Bone Society. And I know you black women are going to get mad, but the Skull and Bone Society is a group that was made up by just nothing but white people who were very, very highly satanic. You're George Bush. John Kerry, your your top Democrats and Republicans, uh, the Republicans, they go there, and they are white people. You have to be a white man to enter there, and they're very, very highly, highly wicked. And they pray to Satan, they do homosexual acts, and they murder kids, and they rob graves. They rob the grave of Geronimo took his bones and his skull and made it a symbol for their skull and bones. They would go and rob different graves, pull the dead carcass out, go around naked with a uh, sheet wrapped around them, stabbing the carcass and yelling, Jesus, die, Jesus, die, because they actually hate God. They hate Jesus. So let's get some reading going. It says, in 1904, the first African-American Greek society, uh, Greek secret society, was formed in Philadelphia. That's Philadelphia, Pennsylvania group by Dr. Notice Henry Minton and five of his colleagues. So very high prestigious black men got together and formed this. And when you look at a picture of Dr. Henry Minton, um, he could pass for white. Remember, during slavery, the, not everybody looked dark skin or brown. There was some There was some of our people who looked that like they could pass for white. As a, as a matter of fact, some of our people wrote down that they were white people, even though they were black people, because they could pass for white so they can get benefits so they didn't have to go through the struggle just want to you know, put that on on uh out there and it says the boule an acronym for sigma pi phi understand this these fraternities these fraternity schools and the sorority schools and these colleges you know these 
these frat clubs and sorority clubs, they're controlled by Freemasons. And Freemasons, when you get a book called Morals and Dogma by Albert Pike, he said they practice the Luciferian doctrine and that Satan is the god of Freemason. So Satan set up these uh, 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 fraternity uh, it, it, these frat clubs and these sorority clubs, Satan set them up. Why? Because these are the proving grounds, you know, like Junior ROTC, you know what I'm saying? Or you, it getting them ready to be what? In the military. So they have these frat clubs to get ready for them to be part of the Boule and part of the Masonic Order. And it says, it pronounced Boule, B O O. Then it has a dash, L-A-Y, Boule. You know, and Boule itself is spelled B-O-U-L-E, Boule. That's how you pronounce it. Was formed to bring together a select group of educated black men and women. Let's stop there. You have to understand, they not recruiting dumb motherfuckers. They not recruit recruiting People who was dumb as shit, who was idiots, who's a fucking moron. They're going after people who are educated. And understand, the white man's skull and bones started in where? Yale. It started in Yale, our high prestige college. By Harrington Russell. And the black boule... It's fashioned itself after the white man's skull and bones. And they themselves have frat clubs and stuff, and they're looking for educated people. Men and women. Black men and women. It says fashion, here it go. After Yale skull and bones, that's the white man's, the boule historically takes pride in having provided leadership and service to black Americans during the Great Depression. World War One and Two, in the Civil Rights Movement, what could the Boule offer American blacks in the early 20th century? Join the see. And one of the things too you have to understand is I'm gonna get into it's going to get into it further. But you're like, well, ain't nothing bad about that. They have to appear, you know, give you the appearance that they are all about their people, but in secretly. They are against you, and it's going to go on and explain it. But I don't want people to sustain. Well, look, they say they're they're giving help and aid to black folks during the Great Depression. And the thing about it is, some of the guys in the Boule in the Masonic Order, when Black Wall Street happened, a lot of them died and had their rings stolen from them and stuff. No, I just want to bring that to light too. It says. Um, Joining the exclusive secret society offered advancement and perks to select blacks in return for loyalty to its objectives. So they get perks. You got to understand, when you when people join the secret society or join the fraternity clubs, they get perks, which is why a lot of our uh, black women who are very, very well educated are the biggest whores in college? Now we're getting some answers. It's, all, it's a ritual for them to be that way. And because these black men who are in these frat clubs, and a lot of athletes are in these frat clubs, they're running through women like crazy. And a lot of them practice homosexuals too. So they know that, that it's on the women, they're lesbians and they're whores and fuck a lot of men. And also on the men, they're faggots and they also fuck a lot of women. So you got to understand bisexuals really what they are. <laughs> and they get perks for that. The more wicked you are, the more perks you get. Are we seeing, are, are we getting a better picture? And this is, the Boule recruits top blacks in America, in American society into its ranks. Today, 5,000 Archons, male Boule members, and their wives are causes with uh, 112 chapters make up the wealthiest group of black men and women on the planet. Let me read that again. 
with 112 chapters make up the wealthiest group of black men and women on the planet. Now, you have to understand. See, black woman, here's what you have to understand. If you're looking for a man who is top-rate and top-notch educated, chances are he's going to be in the sorority, uh, excuse me, in a frat club, and he also is going to be a sellout and have and being in, uh, being controlled. Now check this out, Archon Archon A R C H O N means demon. The kind that like to keep hitting. Demon. So when they enter the boule, you have to understand, they pick up what is called, well, they call themselves demon. So both the black men and black women in the boule are demons. So what are they teaching in these colleges and these frat clubs? They're teaching the black men and black women how to be demons. Uh-oh. And it says it right here. It said the kind that like to keep hitting. Of course, they want to keep themselves hitting. So that's why they appear to be good for us. But in reality, they're them being hitting. They are working against us. It says, but to who does the boule really serve? Who does the boule really serve? The satanic, the satanic, mostly white, global elite, as long as the black members conforms to the rules. The riches will be in abundance. If not, down comes the hatchet. Black male is part of the deal. The Masonic Secret Society has a pyramid style like all the rest. The lower ranks are kept from knowing what the upper ranks are doing. The early 20th century was a period of reconstruction. Mm. It says a whole hell of a lot there. Now I'm going to reread it and I'm going to break it down. There's a lot of reading to do. But I'm not going to read through it all. I want you to read it, but I want to hit some points and hit some names and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I want I want to hit some of this so you can understand why things is happening. I'm going to link Bill Cosby into this because his name is part of this boule. You know, and I'm going to come back <clears throat> with part two. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I gotta I gotta read that one more time for you so you you can understand so i'm the raw truth i'll be back with part two i'll be back <laughs> 